Hey everyone, so we are finally back with part two of our Z coffee table video. So I know this is a couple weeks late. We said we were gonna do it the following week right after, but we wanted to get a little bit more done on the table before we put this video up, just so it was better for you guys. So last time, I believe we, we cut it off with us. We just finished the pours and we said the next step was gonna be demolding. So that's where this video will start. We're gonna demold the pieces, take them downstairs, we're gonna flatten them on the CNC, uh, we'll cut them to size, we'll sand them. We're also gonna show you guys how we built this base, which is a new design for us. It's kind of that cube style base. And then we're gonna take everything and finish it. And by the end of this video, you guys should be able to see these two pieces basically finished up. We're not gonna get them assembled, but we're gonna have them oiled. And then we're gonna have one more installment for this series here. It's gonna be part three, and that's gonna be the final assembly and delivery. So we'll show you guys putting the table together, and then actually we're gonna go down to California and help deliver this table for Zed in his house. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and don't forget to leave a like. the tables for Zed all taken out of the mold. They've actually been sitting up here for a couple days since we demolded them. Um, we don't have the durometer right now. The durometer is like something we use to check hardness, but I'll, I'll show you guys later on with these tables what the hardness is sitting at. Um, it's been about a week, so usually after this long it's at about a 0 0.81 or 82 hardness. Full hardness is 0.83, so by the time it goes over 0.8, we're ready to start machining it and working on it, and that's what we'll do next. So you can see that there is still like a little bit of a layer of epoxy, uh, and that's one question that we get a lot, is if we leave that layer on, and the answer is no, we don't. So we're gonna machine that off, expose the raw wood, we're gonna do this one, and the base now uh, all machined you saw Brad was on the CNC there he was cutting all the joinery so that's what all this is basically this tenon here will slide into this slot um, you can kind of see it on this side I'm not going to put it in all the way but I'll just show you guys I don't even want to yeah see so there's there's sort of how it's going to fit we'll clamp it together later today um, but this was all this was the pour you saw us do so it was four feet long and then we cut it up 
Um, now, once it's glued together, this is going to be the base. So it's going to give us this cube look underneath, uh, resin rivers on all the sides. And this is sort of what Zed wanted. We just sort of proposed this to him, and he liked it and went for it. So Ben right now, I think, is just chiseling out some of the corner square. Um, what, was that just from the router bit, I think? On the CNC? Yeah. 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 So just because we had the radius on the router bit, it didn't make it... It didn't make it completely square, uh, so now Ben's just going to chisel it out. So he'll show you what he's going to do there, and then we'll be doing the glue up next. What I'm doing right now is these curve up from the, the cutter head of the CNC, and so I'm just going to chisel that down so it's flat. We're going to have a, a piece of iron that goes in here as a brace to attach to the bottom of the table. And uh, this is just in the way right now. So. I'm going to measure out how thick this part is and just transfer that line over here and then just chisel that out. It's a few days later, it's towards the end of the week now. We've got Zed's table here, kind of test fitted on the base. There's no screws holding it in, but I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, this is like a brand new design for us. So now we're gonna oil the base, uh, we'll put this back, and then the next step to this is to get it all assembled and shipped down to Zed in uh, Los Angeles. It's time to uh, put put the, the finish on the base as Do Joe times his, uh, his drill egg with me talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to be using the Osmo Wood Wax Extra Thin. So this is the 1101 and we like to start with this for the first or second coat just because it, it's thinner, you get further penetration and therefore better water protection. Now the base probably is never really going to get exposed to water but we still like to do this step uh, just because it's the best possible finish you can put on. So I'm going to be using just a white non-abrasive scotch bright, apply this by hand, spread it out all over the surface and then we'll buff it all off with the cotton rag after I've got it spread. With the Osmo, one thing I find as well, you'll notice like I've done this whole side and I've only dipped my pad once, so you'll you'll get a better finished product if you apply very thin. Like the more buildup you have on the surface, the harder it's gonna be to work with uh, because then it'll wanna dry tacky and it might never go fully hard. So always try and spread out your oil as far as it will possibly go before grabbing some more. I hope everyone enjoyed seeing the next steps of this table. Uh, now we're, it, again, it's almost done actually. So we were able to get quite a, quite a bit done in this. We got it flattened. We got everything cut to size. We got the joinery cut on this. So this was all done on our CNC. Uh, and we got the glue up done yesterday too. Everything looks really seamless. Uh, from here, all we've got to do is a few more coats of oil on the base. The top is done, so we don't have to worry about that. 
And then as you can see here, we've got these recesses. Now, there's actually gonna be a steel plate that goes in here and a steel plate that goes in there. Those steel plates will then be screwed into the wood here. And then we're gonna have holes in the steel plate so that we can mount up through the bottom of this, like through here, into the underside of the table. So that's basically the last step we have to do for this. Then we'll be on to crating and shipping. And then also going with this, if you guys come over here, um, we have got the art piece. So this is Zed's art piece here. It's a little dusty, but this is gonna go with it. We've got the French cleat put on the back for him too for easy mounting. But yeah, this is gonna be a nice package going down to him here. Um, the next installment of this will actually be when we're down in California delivering this to him. So this is all we're gonna show you guys really for the progress. We might include that top plate in the next video as well. But stay tuned to see us down in California at Zed's house delivering this table. And if you guys enjoyed this video or learned everything, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.